we continue our lesson still in 2.2.1 uh, derivative of a vector function okay just to recall back uh, when we want to find the differentiation of the vector function you we have to differentiate component by component without mixing them okay let's say uh, I have several questions all right uh, the first one one r equals to uh, with the arrow up here in the angle bracket t comma one plus one divided by t comma sine to t okay just to just to recall back this one is a standard component form right uh, actually this one also can be represented as t i tilde beneath the symbol plus 1 divided by t j plus sine to t k all right this is the similar thing okay now we focus on the differentiation of the vector r prime equals to okay now one by one for the first component differentiating t so now we have to differentiate the function with respect to t the variable is t so differentiate t will become one i sorry maybe we start with the uh, standard component form with the angle bracket comma differentiating uh, one divided by t okay be careful Okay, maybe I bring 1 divided by t. Okay, when we change this one, 1 divided by t actually equals to t power negative 1, right? When we differentiating this one, okay, remember, bring the, the, the n, the, uh, our n now is negative 1. Bring negative 1 to the front copy the t and then n minus 1 which is negative 1 minus 1 equals to negative 2 okay simplify this one negative t squared that's yeah, sorry it's negative or negative 1 divided by t squared okay i copy this one back negative 1 divided by t squared okay then Differentiating sine to t, 2 cos 2 t, or we can write down as i neg uh, minus 1 divided by t squared j plus 2 cosine 2 t k. Alright, actually you don't have to write down all the form of vector you can choose uh, either one okay now we go to second example r equals to square root t i plus ln t plus 1 j plus t squared k okay then r prime t sorry we should have t here okay so now i bring this one outside in case you don't you cannot understand this one directly S square root t is actually t power half and then when we differentiating t power half we'll have half t half minus 1 you will have negative half okay so this one will be 1 uh, divided by 2 t power half i plus okay how about this one long t plus 1 remember 
uh, ln fx equals to uh, differentiating ln fx equals to f prime divided by f right so let's say this is our ft differentiate ft will, will become one right so the answer will be one t plus one okay maybe we do we put some bracket to make sure this is belong to the y direction and then this one will be 2tk all right then and then uh, the third example rt equals to exponent negative 2t plus 2 comma 4 cosine 2t comma square root 5t okay so the differentiation of this vector will be okay one by one you know that this is the the rule uh, we must differentiate this one uh, separately differentiate exponent minus 2t you will have negative 2 exponent negative 2t differentiating number 2 you will have 0 right so just we, normally we don't copy 0 and then differentiating this one negative 8 sine 2t okay how about this one square root 5 is a fully constant the variable now is just t so the answer will be square root 5 then 